Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update, sponsored by Tax Network USA, America's number one choice for tax resolution. Please go to TNUSA.com slash bill or call 800-245-6000. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It's Friday, July 26th, 2024. Here's what's happening today in America. Kamala will not be silent. Newsom cleaning up the homeless. Southwest change. And would you cut it off? It's all coming up. And Bill's going to be here with your message of the day. But first, Kamala Harris met with the Prime Minister of Israel, Netanyahu, yesterday. After she met with Netanyahu, trying to toe the line here, she said, Israel has a right to defend itself and how it does so matters. What has happened in Gaza over the last nine months is devastating. The images of dead children and desperate, hungry people fleeing for safety, sometimes displaced for a second, third, or fourth time. We cannot look away in the face of these tragedies. We cannot allow ourselves to become numb to the suffering. And I will not be silent. In similar news, maybe the number one pick right now for her vice presidential pick is the governor of Pennsylvania, Josh Shapiro. His biggest problem is he's very pro-Israel. We'll see how big of a problem that is for the Democrats. Well, it must be an election year. Gavin Newsom passing an executive order directing state agencies to urgently move to address dangerous homeless encampments and clear them from state land. He also gave city and local leaders the incentive and a push to do the same. The Supreme Court recently allowed cities to enforce bans on sleeping outside in public spaces. There's more than 180,000 homeless people in California, by far the biggest in the country. And a lot of the biggest encampments are underneath state highways, which can now be cleared and cleaned up. Southwest Airlines will end its 53-year policy of open seating. They did a survey that found 80% of customers want assigned seating, like every other airline. And the open seating was the top reason in their survey that people did not choose Southwest Airlines. I think it's the best part about Southwest Airlines. They're now going to add premium seats as well and also add a few red-eye flights. All right, here's a what would you do scenario. There's a men's field hockey player from Australia who in a practice two weeks ago, another player's stick severed off his finger. So doctors gave him a choice. They can reattach the finger by putting a wire in it, but it would require six months to recover and he would miss the Olympics. Or just cut it all off totally and you'll be good to go in two weeks. What would you do? He chose to cut it off. It's his right ring finger. Who needs it anyway? He'll be in his third Olympics this weekend. I'm Mike Slater from the podcast Politics by Faith. The great Bill O'Reilly has your message of the day next. Are you feeling the impact of recent timeshare industry changes? Now more than ever, the costs of timeshare ownership far outweigh the benefits. My friends at Lone Star Transfer are the only company I trust to help you get out. Our listeners' positive feedback demonstrates why I've supported the company for years. For more than a decade, they have helped over 20,000 owners get out of the timeshare. Their exclusive options can help you get out faster and easier, more than any other option in the country. They are the only company that will give you a written guarantee and release you from your timeshare in a specific time frame. With an A-plus rating at the Better Business Bureau, and thousands of five-star reviews, customer service is their top priority. For free consultation and a guaranteed solution, please call 855. 855- 551-7066. That's 855-551-7066. Or go to LoneStarTransfer.com. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Friday, if it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, and walks like a duck, it's probably a duck. And if it looks like a socialist, well, hi there. Kamala Harris, 2019. She, according to her voting record in the Senate, was the most liberal member of that August body. Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren are are furious. What did we do wrong? How could Kamala be the most liberal senator? And then we had Bernie's government health care bill. Almost every other politician in Washington said, no, we don't want to take over the entire health care system. But Kamala Harris did. She co-signed. 
Bernie Sanders's wiping out of private health insurance and imposing government run insurance. So if you're listening to me in Canada and you need an operation, tell your American peers how that's going up there with government run health care out of Ottawa. On and on and on and on. Kamala Harris wants guaranteed income. She wants the government to pay for child care, free college, every entitlement you can imagine. And how would they do that? By taxing corporations and people who have money to the hilt. That is socialism. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Now let's go to the mail. William Bernstein, Norfolk, Virginia. With Kamala Harris now officially in a race, do you feel anything else will happen bad like the past few weeks? Can Kamala actually beat Trump? Yeah, she can beat him. I don't think she will at this point. But anything, you know, it's a crazy country right now. Um, I don't have a feeling like I had before. I think it's going to be Kamala and Trump. There's going to be obviously ups and downs, but I, I don't have any foreboding. But I'm glad you asked that question. Michael Oberhaus of Wellsville, Missouri. Saw your interview on News Nation with Leland Vittert. You said if Trump can keep from getting in the mud, he will win. I've read the United States of Trump, and I believe you know the man as well as anyone. So I'm asking you, can he stay out of the mud? He can. He's smart enough. But he likes the mud sometimes. Thinks it works for him. So I, I don't know. If I was his advisor, I'd just go policy. Socialist, 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 socialist. And here's how it would affect you. Don't need to call her dumb as a rock. That doesn't matter. Gerald Brooks, Boynton Beach, Florida. Bill O'Reilly, you are right. These are historic times. I'm very grateful. I'm a premium member to BillOReilly.com so I can get information analysis that only you deliver. Corporate media has made a Faustian pact to keep information from Americans. Their low ratings are a sign how the story will end. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to be a total dunderhead to believe that the corporate media is not deceiving you. It is. We don't. Simple as that. In a moment, something you might not know. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800 925 7584 for a free quote. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote 800 925 7584. 800 925 7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800 925 7584. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 120 years ago today, a Syrian migrant named Ernest Hamwi unveiled a new dessert at the World's Fair in St. Louis, Missouri. The man took a thin waffle, rolled it into a funnel, then stuffed it with two scoops of frozen vanilla cream. The ice cream cone was born. Here are some facts about America's favorite snack. The history of ice cream dates to the second century BC when Roman soldiers mixed snow and honey. Today, there are more than 600 flavors of ice cream in the USA alone. Despite all the options, our favorite flavors have remained the same since the World's Fair in 1904. 
chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. In total, Americans spend $20 billion every year on ice cream. Around the world, the dessert is enjoyed in very unique ways. In Japan, folks mix milk with sticky rice and green tea. The result is a chewy snack the size of a golf ball. For Italians, it's all about gelato. The recipe uses whole milk instead of heavy cream. The result, gelato, is actually healthier than its American cousin. In Israel, ice cream is mixed with sesame seeds, walnuts, and honey. With cows in short supply, folks in the Middle East use goat milk instead. In Bavaria, Germany, folks there enjoy a strange treat called Sus Noodle, German for sweet pasta. Vanilla ice cream pressed through a pasta maker, then covered in strawberry jelly. When finished, the dish resembles spaghetti and tomato sauce. I don't like that image. I'm sorry. Finally, the food capital of the world, France. Growing trend in the world's top restaurants is to use ice cream with classic French ingredients. If you plan on visiting Paris for the Olympics, popular ice cream flavors include lobster tail, duck liver, caviar, snails, and of course, blue cheese. No, I am sticking with my favorite, coffee ice cream. Back after this. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. (laughs) 